Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is Coogan Cassius Fry from London. We're at Team GB House here in Stratford uh, for the pre-competition press conference for the boxers. With me, I've got the coach of the GB squad, Rob McCracken. How are you, Rob? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Um, days away now from the start of the tournament. Um, how do you think everyone's settling and, you know, are they feeling pressures? You know, they've settled in well. There's, of course, there's pressure because they're at home. It's the Olympic Games and they're, they're a fairly well-known team throughout the world of, of amateur boxing. Luke Campbell, Nicola Adams, Tom Stalker at the press conference, top international performers. So there'll be a little bit of pressure. People will be looking for them to do well. But there's no reason why they can't do well. They're, they're good athletes. They've trained really well and they're focused. So we'll look to see them do well in London. Uh, most of the, uh, the athletes on the squad are actually ranked in the top 10 um, by the the AIBA. Um, is this the most talented squad of boxers that's ever competed for Great Britain in Olympics? I think potentially. I think you look at the, some of the teams, you know, just, just in my lifetime, I look back at 76 and some of the talent that was in the, the team there that went to Montreal. So potentially it could be, but obviously the, the proof will be in the pudding at the end of the games. In, and that will be determined by how many medals the teams have won. Um, it's a good team. It's a strong team to have at home games. But, you know, you've got to get on the podium. And if, and if we win enough medals, then we could maybe sit down after the London Olympics and say this was probably our best ever team. But until the games are over, until we've got those medals, you know, that's up for discussion. Um, a lot of experts are saying, though, everyone who's on the squad has a genuine chance of bringing home a medal. Is that the way you see it as well? I think so. You're given half a decent draw. You can have some horrendous draws in amateur boxing. Same for anybody where you end up drawing three really top boxers one, a one after the other. And it makes it very difficult. We've seen boxers come through and do that with very tough draws. Uh, and some of these that are here in London have done that themselves. But it just makes things a little bit tougher. Um, having said that, they are very very experienced, they are a good team and, and we should be going into London really confident we're at home, we should be saying, you know, look, we're going to do well here and, and we're very confident we will. Um, talking about the coaching, obviously you're responsible for their coaching when they're, when they're up in Sheffield do they still have their, um, their normal training with their individual trainers that would normally train them? No, how it works is, is I mean, I've been here three years we've got the right coaches in place at GB that we work on a Monday to Thursday on a weekly basis, I have the, the coaches with me up there, Dave Alloway, Lee Pullen and Paul Wormsley, top, top coaches. They travel the world with me and the boxers. They've been everywhere, the world's Europeans. They've been in the corners with them since, you know, I've not been allowed to be in the corner. Um, and, and they did a fantastic job. And, and, you know, we go right up to the ring, basically. We can work on the, the performance analyst in the morning. We look at their opponents. We go through it. I sit down with them and the coaches and go through it. But we have great coaches that can take them into the corner and win major medals with them, and they've shown that time and time again. So we're, we're in good hands. Um, just to end on, can you give us any news about Carl Froch and when possibly we can see him in the ring next? Yeah, well, it's, he's going to fight in November. Um, we're just sorting the opponent out now. Um, have to get the right opponent. I think it's going to be a big fight for him next year. The Butte A rematch is always there and possibly Kessler and stuff. So there should be some massive fights from next year. But obviously we've got a sort of fight out now for him in November in Nottingham uh, in front of his home fans. Uh, be a great night, but we'll just get the opponent sorted out in the next week or two. And, and I'm sure Eddie Earn will be making an announcement shortly in match room. Well, it seems like it's going to be a very busy year for you, Rob, as well. So good luck with it. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Right, this is Coogan Cassius with Rob and Kraken here for iPhone London. Thank you very much.